As an Australian and as a NASA astronaut, I've seen the real advantages that have come through international cooperation in the exploration of the solar system. In the past 50 years, there's really been no better demonstration of that cooperation than the partnership between the United States and Australia through NASA's Deep Space Network. To stay in constant radio contact with robotic spacecraft exploring the solar system and beyond, NASA established three tracking stations located near Madrid, Spain, Goldstone, California and just outside Canberra, Australia. Coordinated through the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, they form NASA's Deep Space Network. Responsibility for operating and maintaining each of the complexes falls to a close team of dedicated men and women who share their knowledge and expertise around the world. The collaboration between the three sites, Goldstone, Madrid and Canberra, is, is crucial to us. We all tend to be maintaining very similar equipment and there are certain things that are learnt on the different sites. We all strive to try and achieve the, the best outcomes. And the cooperation is we all we have a, a real-time interface with them. Anything that we need to ask them, they, they tell us their experiences and we also pass on any experience that they may not have. Uh, we cooperate 100%. Bye, command. Bye, command. Bye, command. Bye, command. Ever since we took our first steps beyond Earth, to explore the universe around us, Australia has played a vital role in the exploration of space. Antennas across the country supported NASA's first satellites and followed their astronauts as they journeyed into Earth orbit. Oh, that view is tremendous. They also provided telemetry, command and ranging for a fleet of deep space probes headed for the Moon and the planets beyond. It could get quite exciting. I remember back to the days of Lunar Orbiter when I first started, there were several spacecraft going around the moon and you could hear the beat of a spacecraft come in as you were trying to lock up to it. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The marvellous thing was how well the Americans trusted us. They trusted their judgement. They trusted us for being competent, professional people, and they listened to the people on the station. Today, the Canberra Deep Space Communication Complex stands alone as the Southern Hemisphere's only deep space tracking station. Supporting the missions of many nations and dozens of spacecraft every day, each process in the communication path relies on teams of highly skilled personnel. Their work focuses on areas of antenna maintenance, systems engineering, spacecraft communications and logistics administration. The best thing about working here is the people. They are so sharp, so professional, so dedicated Many of them have been here for decades and there's something about our culture that's so caught up in getting this right, in, in making these missions work. We uh, operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so you have to choose people that are compat compatible with each other. We can be called up at any time to come out and repair an antenna and get it back online. It might get a bit isolated at times, so being able to refer to to someone else that has the exact same knowledge and expertise in the area is, is, is excellent. Dedication of staff is crucially important because they might have to make split-second decisions on their own to keep with the systems running so that the operations can get back on a spacecraft. And in the middle of the night, that's uh, you want somebody that's totally dedicated. It takes three days to get to the moon. It takes seven months to get all the way to Mars. The incredible discoveries made in space over the last 50 years would not have been possible without the role played by the hundreds of men and women who have worked at the tracking stations. I think that takes pity. They stand as an inspiration to the next generation of space explorers who just now 
are looking to the stars. It's our people I'm so proud of. It's their dedication, their professionalism. More than that, they love what they do. The anniversary of 50 years of partnership in space tracking, it's a great opportunity for us to reflect on the accomplishments in science, engineering, and goodwill of our long history. But it's also a great opportunity to look ahead. On site, we're currently building a new state-of-the-art antenna to usher us well into the 21st century. The success of the Deep Space Communication Complex and the Deep Space Network is founded on its people and the strength of an international collaboration stretching back to the beginnings of space exploration. It's the thrill of being a part of something that's so magnificent in concept and yet requires so much attention to detail. And these are the guys that do it. We'll be here in partnership with the Deep Space Network as long as there's a Deep Space Network.